Is Carly Russell about to be bigger than Jesse Smollett? This alleged toddler that was walking down a highway in Alabama. How could you not be concerned? Everyone prayed for her safe return. And then prayers were answered. Miraculously, Carly Russell turned up 48 hours later. Hi everyone, so we really have to talk about Carly Russell. So apparently, she went missing three days ago. And just in case you haven't been paying attention to the news, because it's been very, it's been all over the news, all over social media. So apparently this nursing student, she was on her way home from work and she saw a unknown child on the highway while she was driving home. So apparently she got out the car, she called 911, and then she called a family member. While she was on the phone with a family member, the family member heard her scream, and from that point, no one heard or seen Carly Russell go. So then, two days later, 48 hours later, she showed up at her mother's house, and they took her to the hospital. At nine something, the mother called, the police station to know that Carly showed up. Now, unlike everyone else, I was very skeptical from the beginning because it just don't make sense. Let's get into the inconsistencies and what is not adding up. Before Carly was found and showed up on her parents' doorstep, her mother actually called the police department and said her daughter called her from a local Red Roof in hotel. 754 unclassified complaint, 1466 Montgomery Highway at the Red Roof Inn. The front office, her callers, family members at this location saying they received a call from the female that's missing, Carly Russell. 754 family members are saying they received a call from the female saying she was at this location. If you listen to that call, you hear the police contacting dispatch, telling them that they received a call from a Red Roof Inn that's actually located quite close to where this young lady was missing. And basically they were stating that her parents called the police and said they received a call from this hotel from a woman claiming to be Carly Russell. This was not hearsay. This was not another person saying we saw Carly at a hotel. These were her parents calling the police station in Montgomery, Alabama, saying that they received a call from their daughter. Now, as many as you know, at 11, approximately 11.30 last night, she came home and showed up at the front door. That's already one inconsistency that doesn't make sense. Now her parents are going back saying, oh, we never heard anything about the red roof. We never received this call. It never happened. And the police are saying, yeah, you did call us. We have the call. We have the dispatch. We have all of that where you said this young lady was at a red roof inn located near the area where her car and everything else was found. Now here in this article, it also states that she popped up alone. Now, if you don't remember in the initial call, she went missing stating that she saw a toddler on the side of the road. This article states that they've only found her belongings and still no child. Even in this article, it says the department has received no other calls from a missing child as of Sunday and that they're not looking. So lastly, her boyfriend, because when you see the camera, um, the recording of when she came out of her car, no child there. And not only that, just the whole story, right? The fact that she was able to show it up. How did she show it up? Did she drive to the mother house? Did she walk there? No one could, no one is, no one knows that information as yet because now the family's asking for privacy. But hold on one second. What I don't understand is how were they able to grab Carly and also take the child with them? And we don't see that kind of movement on the camera. If you look closely, you can see Carly go around her car, and apparently she is talking to a child. Isn't it kind of strange that there is so many passing cars, yet no one else reported the child alone on- There's so many different um, stories that's coming up all of a sudden. She has a boyfriend that said- well, not Carly Russell's boyfriend has posted a statement on his Facebook, which does shed possibly some light into what may have happened to Carly. Thursday night, as you know, she was reported missing after calling 911 to report apparently a toddler on the friend has posted this morning on his Facebook account. I don't even know how to start off this post, but to only say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving my girlfriend's life. Also, thank you to everyone who shared a picture, came out to the Hoover Met to help us with the search part. Parents are very strict and they're Christians and blah, 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 that information that we have her brother, our cousin. This man gained 70,000 followers just from saying he was Carly's sister. My sister, Carly Russell, 
is missing. My sister on TikTok that said that made us a racist thing or something like that. And then we have her mom who got so much donation from people. Worse. What did you do when you saw her? We tried to hug her as best we could, but I had to stand back because she was not in a good state. So we had to stand back and let medical let professionals parents, work with her. Um, but it's so we really need to know what's going on because the story is not adding up. The police department saying that there's something that is not adding up to how she showed up at her mother's house. How is it able to record her but not anyone else? And not only that, it's a busy highway. How did no one how, how is it that no one else saw that situation? But yeah, so let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed day.